Hello, hello. Today I'm going to be sharing what we've planned for our second half of the school year. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Joanna. I'm a homeschool mom to a 10 year old, fifth grade technically, right? Um, he's always been homeschooled. I have two older children who are grown, well grown like that I don't, and they went to public school. Um, so welcome if you're new. And if you've been here before, I'm so glad you're spending some time with us again today. If you're new, you'll, you can also see some other videos. You'll see my son loves to be in them sometimes with me. Okay, on to what we have planned. We've wrapped up our first half of the school year and now we are entering our second um, semester. Well, not entering, we have entered it, I'm sorry. So I just kind of want to share what we've wrapped up and what we're going to be doing. For science, we're quite behind in our curriculum and not really behind, I just say behind because we're only on like week 11 or 12 instead of past the halfway point. But the reasoning for that is that we every other week do botany. So we switch off and um, we have wrapped up the first half of botany, which was a focus on trees. So um, I will be doing a video sharing what we used, what we did and so on um, for our botany unit study. And, well, our tree botany <laughs> unit study where we focused on the trees. And now we're going into our second half and we'll be talking about other types of plants and so on. So that's what's going on with science and that's pretty much exactly what's gonna happen now for the second semester. We're doing the second half of our botany study and we are doing um, the rest of the Oak Meadow curriculum and it's the same thing, we'll be switching back and forth. Um, as far as language arts goes, we pretty much stuck to um, Oak Meadow. We did some of our um, IW, oh, what is it called? Fix It Grammar, um, it, more in the beginning of the school year. We've taken a little break and now we're gonna head right back into that again, just to kind of refresh the grammar. So that's what's going on with language arts and lots of lots of reading. Of course, um, the Oak Meadow recommended reading has a lot to, not has a lot, is all intertwined with the social studies, which this year is American history. So that's what we've been reading for that. And then of course our own things that we want to read. So that's what's been going on with language arts. So that's science, language arts, math. We're way past halfway in the, we'll be wrapping up math. I want to say the beginning of May, which is good. Um, gives us more time to focus on anything that we may be behind on. Um, and then what am I missing? Social studies. We are just about, we're a little bit behind the halfway point where we should be, but it's, it's because we've been like really taking deep dives into the American history. So we're almost wrapping up, uh, the American revolution. So the next videos you should be seeing will be after this one, we'll probably be, uh, sharing everything we've used in history. And I think I'm going to break those videos up. Otherwise they'd be forever long videos. And then also uh, coming up for Black History Month, what books we're, we have in our home that we really enjoy. So those will be the next videos you'll see. But um, like I said, we're wrapping up the American Revolution and going into the Constitution and the states and whatnot. So that's where we are in social studies. And we're just going to continue with the American history from there. And we'll end the school year off with the end of the Civil War is where we're going to finish our... Um, American history this year. Um, I'm trying to see what else. Hold on, let me look at my planner because I will forget. Okay, uh, so for art, we are doing, we took a break and we're going back into Waldorfish. For typing, we're still doing type C. Um, I think that's pretty much the gist of everything as far as like, that's not extracurricular. Um, extracurriculars, uh, my son is still doing horseback. So we still have that going on. He just started, so this is new for the second semester. He just started a Lego robotics class. Um, he's two weeks in and he's really enjoying that. So I'm excited for that. He is still doing his nature school and that's uh, one day a week and it's five hours outdoors. He just started, this is also new <laughs> for the uh, second semester, a bowling league. And he is in a, what I call a PE class, but it's called get up and move. And that is a one and a half hours of serious, like just running. Like he comes out sweating, finishes his whole water bottle. He absolutely loves his class. 
Um, it just gets so much of his energy out. He has a lot of energy um, and it really helps with that for him. So he's been doing that. And we will soon, in, not soon, in March, he will start golf back up. He's not sure if he's gonna do baseball this uh, spring. So that might be something different for us for the springtime. Um, and I'm did I say he's in a bowling league on Wednesdays? I don't even, I can't even remember what I've said. Um, he is now doing a bowling league on Wednesdays as well. So those are the like extra, so the newer things are like the extracurricular activities really. Um, besides that, Oak Meadow is still working for us. So we haven't changed it. Um, like I said, He's going back to fix it grammar. He just took a break. Um, what else? I feel like that's it. I think we're going to um, incorporate a little bit more of Curiosity Chronicles that goes with what we're learning. And I think that's kind of it. We've been using still our history unbox to go along with our history. And yeah, that not much has changed. Everything's sort of working. The only thing that's maybe not working is that we kind of have a little bit not a lot. We have quite a few extracurricular activities and the problem is that none of them are like, oh, five minutes from the house or 10 minutes from the house. They're all 15 to 40 minutes away from the house. So that driving and um, being at those things takes a lot of our day away. So uh, we've kind of found that we have, it's taking away a lot of our schooling time. So we're trying to also balance. And so we're trying to really plan our weeks out ahead now. We're, I'm more of a backwards planner, which I'm still doing, but I want to try to, so I've got two planners now, one for backwards planning and one to plan ahead um, to see how that goes and helping Julian also with his planning. He, I had bought him a planner this year and because I'm not a good planner, he's probably not a great planner either. So we're working on becoming better planners together and I'm hoping that this will save lots of headaches and not keep us from running behind and it makes him feel accountable for what he needs to do when he sees it. Even though the curriculum has like in the beginning of each lesson what you need to get done, for some reason once he flips past that page he never flips back. But having the planner open to what he needs to do is perfect for him. So we're working on becoming better planners. So that's a new thing for the second semester. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's going well, can't complain. He seems to be enjoying it and I'm enjoying it. So besides the rushing in and out for all these activities, it's going really well. And that's it. That's what we have going on for the second half of the school year. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Let me know how your first semester went and what you have planned for your second semester as well. All right. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This was a quick video for me. I'm so proud of myself um, and we'll see you soon. Bye.